Good morning. Whilst also on farm this morning, I have had access to a FENT terminal, so I've taken the opportunity to capitalise on that and upload some shapefiles into the FENT terminal. Most FENT terminals will support a, a shapefile, but it will also take ISO XMLs as well. Just bear in mind if you're doing ISO XML files to um, input the files directly into a task data folder from your export. But in this instance we've put um, shape files loosely on a USB stick and the USB stick as you can see is now residing in the terminal. Once we've got that inside the terminal what we need to do is go to our main screen, go to the picture of the terminal and inside here you'll have USB stick. So if we tap on the USB stick you'll see that there's no plans residing in the tractor and no plans on the USB stick. That's because it's looking for ISO XML files. If we tap this shape file button you can see that we have some plans residing there. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them up to the tractor screen by pressing that um, arrow up. That then generally uploads them to the tractor. Oh, this one here. Not the single arrow, the multiple arrows, because then you can see that they now reside on the tractor. Once we've got those, we can press this back button, the back button again, and then we need to be in this job. So with the pencil and the pause. So in here, we can tap in the actual job screen. And what you can see is we've got a plan that's named test two, but where it says no target rate, if we tap in there, we can see our plans. So if I want 30 acre, I can click on the plan, click tick, it will give me an overview of that particular plan. We can then click the tick button and that will launch that as a prescription. Now we can click record. That is then gonna record this particular plan. We need to then go to our other screen, which is our mapping screen. And in here at the bottom, you have a total worked area tap on there and we can actually have our prescription map on there as well you can see that there's some rates dragged through in the left hand corner again we're not anywhere near the field at the moment so until we get close to the field we won't see the variation map on our gps screen but that file is good to go and uh, hopefully no issues whatsoever for this farmer applying his variable rate nitrogen but for any other questions give us a quick shout and on to the next box. Thanks very much.